In this video we will create the main character for our PS1 horror game. In the last video we talked about the setup of a first person character and what we have to look out for. So if you haven't watched that video, um, check it out. Let's dive into it. An important step before we even start modeling is reference scouting for our character. So Google and, and such um, images that can come near your vision for your character. Uh, for your idea of the character. Then basically create concept art and the best case scenario would be a front, side and back view of the character. If you are skilled enough and can't draw, you can create yourself a an, an reference image or if you have the big money for it or the budget for your project and such big enough, you can commission an artist to create a character reference concept art sheet for your main character. This will save definitely a lot of time, but not money. <laughs> the other option would be to go the, the photo image based references, uh, reference way, like I explained in the PS1 style yourself tutorial. Um, a lot of things from that tutorial will be um, coming back in this tutorial, of course, because it's just character modeling. In my uh, particular case for my main character, I made, uh, the first thing I made was a gameplay concept uh, mock-up. Um, I made a, a concept art piece for what on-screen game experience will look like. I just simply bashed a lot of photos roughly together. Um, you can do this basically even on a phone um, and this will make the process of communicating visions with others way easier and also to get an understanding of the feel it's going to have and such. So this can uh, simplify uh, decisions we have to make along the way. Um, for the character uh, concept reference sheet art, <laughs> I took the time and bashed again images together because I can't draw, like I mentioned in the find your style <laughs> video. So uh, I sadly have only a, a front and a back view. So I have to make up the, the side view or use a other reference for scale. In my case, I use the, the, the skeleton reference sheet, um, uh, it, which is available on my, on my website. Uh, so basically I go through the pro process in hard mode. Let's talk about the design of the main character. We should tone down the colors and the, the design of the character. It's better to be a bit basic than too noisy because we will mainly look at other stuff in the game. And I want to keep some space for the player to project themselves into the character. So uh, don't overdo it. With that said, I still wanted to make the hands a bit more um, pop, which will be in the frame a lot. Because of two reasons, uh, I made some uh, drastic styling decisions. I want the playthrough of the game to be uh, easy to differentiate on first sight. Very often I see no difference in horror games from one to another. So with the, with the red design of the, of the, of the gloves, um, we clearly see there's something going on, uh, something different-ish. And also the second um, decision, the second reason was the, the game will be very heavy bluish and I wanted the hands to uh, have some contrast to the, to the bluish scene on screen. So I was going with this red and basically could also be orange or, or yellow, um, but, but red is a bit more, you know, a bit more uh, not that noisy again. So now I will model the arms. Uh, for the hand I was going with a golden eye situation, a thumb, a pointer and the rest of the hand. This will allow us to express ourselves in more ways and to trigger finger anything basically. If you want a, a simple FPS setup um, you're basically done with modeling the arms and the hand, uh, hands are enough, but I will continue modeling the whole character because I'm still not sure if I want to implement later on um, feet and multiplayer and at some point 
at some point I have to go back and model all that stuff anyway if um, I explained that part in the previous video. Interesting enough the head is the least important thing for the character it's not that important so because the player itself will won't see the head anyway it will be very easy to replace the the head with a different look or something um afterwards anyway bingo bingo bongo the body is done like and subscribe we ended up with a three part full character model um head arms and body with less polygons than a metal gear character from the ps1 game so that's pretty low poly now we are uv unwrapping the whole thing placing seam at, at edges cutting at places and uh, unwrap the whole thing okay 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 now i'm pretty proud of this part um i always used uh images as stencils for texturing and the results are always pretty Descent. I recommend you to do also if you're close to a deadline. It's it's way faster. But um, on this particular main character for this game, I wanted to, I wanted and I tried to improve in hand painting skills. So I gave it a try and I only cried um, maybe three times, and it turned out pretty decent. I think it started its usual with the image stencil uh, technique straight from the character reference onto the mesh then i blocked out the main care uh, colors after that i placed and painted shadow areas with a darker color then i blended them into the shadow areas into the main color by smearing and softening with the dedicated tools and then i brought in some highlights for the cloth textures, like for the t-shirt and for the pants, that was that was a process. It took a lot of very precise placing of the folds in the cloths and um, the, the, the right direction and size was important for the for the come out. Yeah, I think this is something you just have to try and to develop a feeling. It was a process, but I want to get better. I'm still not ready for faces, so I returned to my old uh, stencil technique and just uh, fruit some AI face on this bad boy. And that's the result. Um, he still looks a bit blank, but that's on purpose, like I said. In game, you will actually never see his face or his head, so we could always change his um, head still midway through the project, and also we can always improve on the textures. Well, well, well. Um, I hope this video was informative. If you need help or something wasn't unclear, just ask. I'm I'm there for you. If you wanna help the channel and support me in a big way, consider becoming a Patreon like those lovely people. On this part of the journey, I covered a lot of stuff uh, and things I already explained in a fleshed out tutorial on the channel in, in more than a few uh, tutorials. But in the next time, uh, in the next part, we will attack uh, a new stuff, uh, rigging and animating our main character for our ps1 style horror game so i'm glad you stick by and see you in the next one bye